Alright. I don't know if that can pick up. I'm at the sewage treatment plant in Blaine, and there's this uh, noise. It's a bird noise. It sounds like a really agitated bird noise. And here, let me pan around. And it plays 24 7 on all corners of the building. I thought it was a real bird for a few days, but I kept coming back here. It's about the maybe fourth or fifth time I've been out here now, just hanging out and, and stuff. And I've realized that it's just a recording. I think it's to prevent b other birds from just hanging out at the sewage treatment plant. I mean, I was looking for this bird for the longest time and it just wouldn't show up. So finally, it dawned on me, you know, it's 24-7, it's I'm, I'm out here at night. I've been out here at night, I've been out here during the day, and it's just as active, the same sound. So, it's some special noise. That, I don't see any birds around, so I guess it's working, right? So, that's a, a, an enlightened um, moment for me that's kind of proud I figured out. Um, I'm sure other people would have figured it out a lot sooner. It's just an annoying noise. It's strange. I didn't realize that uh, many people used a, a sound crow instead of a scarecrow. They use a sound. But all right, I spent the night in Sumas, and that's 25 minute drive east of Blaine. Blaine is on the coast, as you can see. And I was expecting to be able to take some video of the berries. I didn't. I guess I'd never taken that road before because there were no berry farms. Outside of Linden is supposed to be known as a, a big berry farm area, but it's not on that road that extends from Blaine to Sumas. It, 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 I saw two berry um, farms and then uh, I uh, just mainly saw corn that's that was it so I mean I've gone I've gone through miles and miles of berry roads that, um, from around here to around Linden so I, I want to catch that just just for the heck of it and then talk about them later but yeah I've been sleeping in my car and in, in library parking lots just uh, changing up which one I, I sleep at. There, there are quite a few of them and they have excellent hours um, except for you know, in Blaine today they're closed on Sunday but uh, I've been sleeping in them and just kind of minding my own business as best I can um, just going on recon missions trying to find bathrooms and stuff uh, whenever the need arises um, I've had to walk quite a good distance uh, to get to some, so it's it's not exactly easy uh, to do. I've uh, for my trash, uh, I've been keeping it at a low volume because I buy in bulk. Okay, I buy uh, a lot of that that Whole Foods stuff. Um, been using powdered milk, not mo so much even the cereal boxes or just hardly any packaging. I keep the packaging to a minimum because it is not easy to find garbage cans around any city in the northern part of Washington and I don't want to risk strewing it in the, uh, some wildlife protected territory so it's uh, been a struggle um, uh, with that. I, I normally do keep a green, f green print um, but sometimes I like to splurge, like I had some uh, raisin bran and, and milk, regular milk, whole milk, whereas normally I'd have the dried stuff. Um, and now I got that trash to deal with, and I can't let it build up in my car too much. It can be kind of a hassle to deal with. So, finding these, these places I'd have to like look for a trash can and then throw a little bit at a time. That's that's a bit of the strategy. There are people behind me. Um, let's see. Weather's been nice. Uh, slept in uh, frosty. You can see the frost on the ground still, and it's almost warm. Um, it's it's nice, though. I can deal with it. Um, yeah, that's it.